Ollie. Look who got a haircut. Don't you look handsome. You even have a nice bow. Well, hello, Pebs. You're going to hear chapter uh, 15 today. Oh, we're getting to the end of the book. Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, in chapter 14, it ended that worm. Worm looked like he was going to explode. He turned green, and his green glow filled the tunnel. Remember the tunnel had fallen in all the rocks? Yes. Chapter 15, Worm's Surprise. Worm didn't explode. Instead, the dragon closed his eyes. Then the rocks blocking the tunnel began to shake. What's happening? Bo yelled. Is Worm doing that? asked Anna. I think, I think he's using the power of his mind, Drake said. Drake wasn't sure how he knew. He just did. Rory, Anna, and Bo stepped back. The rocks kept shaking. Then, poof, the rocks broke up into tiny pieces. Rock dust filled the air. Drake coughed, waving the dust away with his hand. All of the fallen rocks were gone. The tunnel was clear again. So Drake had a power to clear the tunnel so they were not trapped anymore. Drake hugged Worm. You did it, Worm. We should get out of here before Vulcan sneezes from all this dust, said Rory. The last time he sneezed, he turned my bread into toast because <laughs> he has firepower. Rory's right, said Bo. Let's get out of here. Drake stepped through the pile of rubble and found himself face to face with Griffith. Remember the wizard? Simon the guard stood behind Griffith. Uh-oh, look. He's like, I'm in trouble. You are all in big trouble, the wizard said. The whole castle is awake and King Roland is furious. Oh, no. We'll see what happens in chapter 16. And boys and girls, 16 is going to be the last chapter. But I think there are more books in the series. So we'll see how this one ends tomorrow.